<laughs> check this out a toy uh, today it would be something different from my usual profile so this is Mike please meet Mike Mike is some kind of ugly toy or not ugly depends how you look at it uh, but it definitely has only one eye and Mike is the toy from Dollarama this is Canadian dollar store so what's Mike it's a rubber uh, some kind of silicone toy and it's apparently is a, a light portable night light uh, sometime I actually stop by uh, our local dollar, dollar store and see some kind of interesting lightning products and look for some interesting lightning products. So it can be like some inexpensive LED bulbs, some little flashlights and etc. etc. Sometimes you can see some, some kind of interesting deals. So this time I stopped by and I saw this toy. Um, it's just nothing really special about it. Just a little kind of cute monster toy from the monsters. Um, cartoon, I think it's like relatively old cartoons, like oh, whatever, 10 or 8 years old, but it has a secret and I show you what kind of secret it has. So let's look first what we have here. So we have a pretty cute, uh, pretty cute box here, definitely kids oriented uh, and it's made by Philips. So it's already uh, something interesting. So Philips is no one oops sorry for that pretty nice packaging and here we are so we have a power supply by the way if you notice it was four dollars we have something looks like ufo yep and we have mike himself let me pull mike out of here mike come out please come out please okay box go away and here's the mic or here is Mike. All right, so isn't it already looking interesting? So we have Mike, we have UFO, and we have power supply. Yep, that's what I thought so when I saw it first time. Apparently, this is wirelessly charging Mike. Uh, and this is what got uh, caught my interest. It's not just simple LED battery powered uh, nightlight, so it's wirelessly charging nightlight. So I decided to uh, buy one because I think it's quite interesting uh, device and for $40, uh, it's, I think it has quite a bit of uh, hardware in it. So first of all is power supply. Power supply, as you see, this is all certified stuff. This is no like not gonna burn on you at any time. Uh, I don't see any information. Okay, this is output 12 volt, 500 milliamps. Uh, pretty decent, but weak, relatively weak power supply, but looks nice. Uh, very interesting uh, connector here. So, base. Here's the base. Uh, it says 12 volt, 1 watt, class 2, whatever, whatever, all certification here, uh, center positive, all good, nice, oh, there's a button here as well, I guess to on for on off, and the toy or mic, it's just a light with the base which has Philips 3.6 volt, 1.8 watt, so this puck over here supposedly is wireless, a uh, receiver which gonna charge something inside this mic and light uh, the battery uh, sorry light the LED so I have actually second toy like that already charged it so let's see how it operates so here is the brother Mike's brother second brother from the same Philips mother um, okay so here's Mike. Uh, obviously, we don't see anything, any kind of light, because it's pretty bright here. Let me shut down the light and see how it's gonna look like. So here, how it looks like. It's clearly uh, illuminates some light, but it's very dim even in without the studio lights. Uh, it's actually okay in dark room. It it really serves the purpose. It is a, a night light, so it's not too bright. It's not too dim. It's just right, and I like it. Um, Actually, after playing with this thing, I actually realized why it ended up in a dollar store, because... Hey Mike, 
shut down. Okay, can you? So this thing apparently has a little bit of a problem with turning on and off. I think it's supposed to turn on and off when you like tilt it. But it's not working nicely. It clearly has the click when you do that, but it's not working nicely. Okay, I'll turn the lights on. Uh, okay, so let's put an operational mic over here. Over here, we're gonna be watching how this, his brother, will get some surgery on. So my idea is today is actually to look what's inside and see how we can use uh, this uh, little toy for our engineering or tinkering or anything uh, so obviously my biggest interest is this device is the base and this wireless receiver wireless transmitter and receiver power supply is uh, it's pretty typical power supply it has what three mil or four mil connector but this is the most in two interesting parts um, so before i do the section on mic and the base i decided to actually sorry uh, to charge to see uh, to power up the base and see if by any chance this base is maybe compatible with wireless phone charging who knows okay so this is my blackberry phone and it uh, has uh, qi i think that's how it's called charging and it's definitely on and it works from my other wireless charger yeah but i don't think it's doing doing anything i think this is some some kind of proprietary uh wireless charging or wireless technology we're gonna look into it all right it doesn't work with the phone so i assume that's something they developed just for this purpose okay let's power it down but i had to press this button and it clearly indicates that it's working so how would we disassemble this thing? I see no screw, so I assume it just have to just pry it open. Maybe. Sometimes screws are hiding behind labels, but maybe in this case too okay so screws were hiding behind those uh, three rubber feet and I have I have to kind of quickly unscrew it and screw this one and then we are in this one hey. okay so it's relatively well built for what it is I think uh, well, okay, let's not say it yet. We'll see what's inside. Ta da! Okay, well, oh, I see the coil. Very nice. Okay, well, there is nothing going on, on behind this thing. Okay, we have pretty simple, <laughs> pretty simple schema like um, board here, but let's pull it. Oh, it's easy to pull. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to run an experiment to see what kind of frequency this uh, this run at runs at. Let me do a closer shot. So here how it looks up close. Um, from the first glance, I cannot say too too much because I don't know what's the there's a ch controller chip. I'm not sure, not sure what it, exactly it is. It reads. Um, ZS and D5828. I will have to like research what it is. Um, truly, this is power cir uh, circuit over here. There is one capacitor missing. The button LED, and uh, yeah, it's another looks like a capacitor. So I'm not entirely familiar with how uh, wireless charging uh, work. I would have to do a little, my, my, a little bit of my research, but I assume that um, with this controller over here, 
that it doesn't do more than just wireless charging. I don't think there is any kind of communication protocol or anything going on here. So I don't think it knows that uh, the mic is actually charged and stop outputting current, hence the button. So essentially you just turn on and off. So this button will uh, turn on and off. Maybe it has timer so it can time out after a while. So if it's on for, uh, for a while, it just shut down you know, um, to to preserve to to preserve some uh, energy, but I assume that's pretty basic circuit here. Yeah, I'm just curious what frequency it works on and uh, um, and what power over here, like what power it outputs. Okay, this is our base charging base. Pretty cool. Okay, let's put base aside and look at mic. I'm curious how easy I can dis disassemble mic. I don't want to rip it off because maybe it's a nice rubbery toy. Maybe you can give it to someone to play with or something or to the dog or to the cat to destroy him. And, it, and also I'm curious if this is uh, just glued in here. If it's waterproof or anything like that, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, this is. Also, I'm curious what kind of glue they use to, to glue silicone, rubber. Obviously, it's not designed to be waterproof. So, okay, I think we have a. Mike. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is clearly some knife work. Oh wow, it's actually quite well glued here. <laughs> Maybe it won't be that easy as I. Okay, it's coming out. Oh wow. Yeah, in some places it's glued very well, in some places it's not. Okay, oh yeah, I think we're in. Okay, it's getting easier now to pull it this way. All right. Ah! Oh my god. Oops. Oh, here we are. Here's the hollow mic. He lost his soul now. Oh, poor mic. Okay, what we have here, we have Pretty simple thing actually. We have a coil. Okay, let me unscrew this because that's the diffuser, oh, LED diffuser. Okay, let let me show it like this. Okay, I'll zoom in again and we can see. So this is the base. We have we see I see some batteries over here. So three batteries. So I assume this 1.2 volt each, and that hence 3.6 volt. Uh, at the coil, obviously. Uh, under the, this dome will be some LEDs. Let's look inside. This screw is not cooperating. Okay. Whoa. Here we are. Interesting. So we have definitely a lot of uh, a lot more electronics that I would expect to be here. Uh, I thought it would be very simple, but looks like it's uh, quite a bit. Uh, going on here, there are three. Uh, there is 
uh, we have three LEDs here, uh, a controller, bunch, uh, a bunch of transistors, battery connected. Oops! Oh, just like that. Okay. I'm curious about those this this kind of battery pack. Never seen this before. Nice. So definitely, is this uh, uh, is this thing open? I can totally measure the frequency and other things um, it operates on. Cannot really read what chip says. Let me see closer. Yeah, it's clearly some sort of uh, integrated uh, char charging controller or something like that because it says UTEC. I uh, have no idea what this, this UTEC is, probably a spe specific uh, job for just for this purpose, specifically designed just for this. Film. Again, I have to search for it. But here we are. So this is the little circuit uh, which was inside the mic or inside mic. Cool, so technically I can recycle this uh, a little bit of electronics uh, for my uh, other projects. I just need to measure if it's gonna su supply enough enough power to power something. But for example, I can, if it's 3.6 volt, I think I can totally power the um, BBC microbit. Uh, or any kind of 3.3 volt ar based Arduino or 3 volt based Arduino because I don't think 0.6 volt is going to make much of a difference. So here we are. This is what was inside uh, Philips po portable nightlight or mic. <laughs> so uh, I think it's clearly worth four dollars because now I have ability to power my wireless uh, projects. So base probably gonna be intact like it is. I don't know about this M button, but this little um, wireless receiver or uh, wireless charging receiver is clearly can be used. It has a battery in it, and uh, I have to do research to see the capacity of this battery, but. Uh, doesn't say oh 200 milliamp okay so this is two 3.6 200 milliamp uh battery so uh, clearly i can power some sort of uh small microcontroller a la uh, arduino mini or maybe bbc microbit is this so my next project would be to play with it to see what can i power and how long i'm gonna uh, stay charged um if you guys have an idea as how to use this, please uh, comment below. But thank you for watching and see you next time.